Hello everybody, uh, this uh, tutorial is on how to put static mesh actors into your scene in UDK and uh, be able to manipulate them and move them around in your environment such as in games like Amnesia and uh, Penumbra. We're going to start out by putting a table into our scene. This is just for me to use so I can uh, set the object that we're going to move around on even though it's not 100% necessary. So actually, no, I'm not going to put the table down. <laughs> I lied. Uh, what we're going to do is I think I have a bear mesh in here. Yes, I do. I have a teddy bear mesh in here. From uh, It's taken from the game that I'm working on right now. And uh, we'll just make it so you can um, move the teddy bear. Now what we're going to do is you got to make sure that uh, your static mesh has collision. So in order to make sure that your static mesh has collision, you sh you're going to need to go to the, the static mesh editor. Make sure you have that uh, this button right here selected. That'll show the collision. And uh, to add collision, I recommend using auto convex collision. And you really don't need it set to maximum. I set it to maximum for this uh, particular uh, static mesh because I wanted a lot of bounce to it and a lot of uh, collision, well, collision to it. But you can just have it set on the default and it should work just fine for you. And the less collision you have on it, the less GPU and uh, memory intensive uh, it'll actually be. Oops. So what you want to do is you want to add that to your scene. But what you got to do next is make sure that you have that selected and this selected. Now you just right click and uh, let me see if I can find it here. You want to right click on it and... I always have trouble finding this stuff. Here, screw it. Here, don't do that. <laughs> here. Have that selected here. Right click on the scene and go add rigid body models, Miss Teddy, or whatever you're using. Now it has to be a rigid body, so uh, it's affected by, uh, by what we're going to use is called the physics gun. And it has to be a rigid body, so it has it'll bounce and it can be manipulated uh, by the user. So now that that's in your scene, that's pretty much done with that. What you want to do is you want to go to your uh, Unreal Kismet, and you want to go make a level loaded event. Now I'm sorry if you're not following up on some of this stuff. Uh, this is a, I guess, an advanced tutorial. Uh, I'll go over some more basic stuff on how to like uh, do basic level design and things like that. Uh, but this is a pretty advanced thing to do. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to go to MISC, uh, New Action MISC, and you want to go to Console Command. Loaded Invisible goes to the in, and your target should pretty much always be all players, or you can set it to one individual player but there's only one player in the map so it doesn't really matter and under commands you want to set physics gun physics the first P in physics should be capitalized and the first G in gun should be capitalized that's just standard stuff if you know how to program and things like that and then by default your character will have the physics gun but there's one more important thing that you need to do is you gotta go to your world properties and you're going to want to set your default game type to a, a UT Deathmatch. Though I have a custom game type that I made called Nightmare Game that's uh, for my game that I'm working on, so I'm just going to use that. And the reason why I'm using that is because I went to the Unreal script and I was able to toggle off things like HUD, but I'm going to show you how to toggle off the HUD with this too, because I just like having it off. Another thing uh, for my Nightmare Game, I'm going to add another thing. I'm going to add a uh, change size 1.5 because my character is quite small uh, due to the custom game type so I'm just going to make it so the size is uh, considerably larger and then to hide the HUD it's uh, very simple you just go to new action go to toggle toggle HUD and you just put the load invisible to hide and uh, just to make sure this all works right, I'm going to add a player spawn here and just uh, attach these here because sometimes it doesn't always uh, work right. 
and of course your target should be all players. Sorry about that. Uh, Alright, so next what we're going to do is, well actually that should be all set up good by now. Um, so just, yeah, uh, make sure that that's uh, there. I'll leave that up for like a few seconds. Uh, the physics gun is just a default grasp type gun that's uh, in uh, the Unreal Engine or EDK. You can go into the Unreal script and um, make it so it's set there by default, or you can just use that console command to automatically uh, give uh, the player it. All you want to do is you, of course, you want to go with your lighting real quick. Just toggle off light mass there. It's, uh, it's unnecessary for just something simple like this. And uh, give it a second to uh, finish. Mine's going to take a little bit because I'm running this off my uh, laptop. And the UDK might crash on me. Or not. I got lucky this time. The UDK didn't crash on me. Uh, Alright, now what you want to do is just play this level in editor. Alright. There we got our teddy bear. Now, the physics gun works if you go up to it and you right click, you'll be able to pick it up. All right? And if you left click, you'll be able to toss it or to push it. So, right click to pick it up. If I can pick it up again, one second. There we go. Right click to pick it up and left click to move it or toss it, push it. Now I actually went into the Unreal script and I made it so it's not as strong. On default, the push for uh, the left click is ridiculous. You like throw it into outer space <laughs> if you press it, but um, that's pretty much how it works. You got a movable teddy bear, and this could work for things like uh, like you can move around uh, crates and things like that. It's it'd be a really cool mechanic for things like puzzles and things like that, which is things I'm experimenting with. And then if you get the lighting good, as you can see, you get like a neat little shadow there. And you can get more and more detailed shadows. Though uh, I guess the physics could be worked on a little bit. But yeah, here we go. You just hit exit. That's what I do right there. So yeah, if your kismet should look something like this. This is just so uh, the HUD won't display. If you don't have this, you'll have things like um, like the gun and things like that. And that's another thing. If you're running UT Deathmatch, you d I forgot you guys don't have my game type that I made. So what you want to do actually is you want to go to um, you yeah no you want to go to uh, all right yeah you want to go to action and I believe it's under pawn. All right no you won't have to do that. Just go to view world view world properties. And under default inventory, no default inventory. There, that way uh, you won't uh, spawn with the link gun, which is just the default Unreal Engine gun. And uh, you'll be able to just have your uh, your physics gun. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. This was, uh, I guess, this was pretty simple. I'll be uploading more stuff in the future, more complex and uh, some easier stuff, focused on uh, level design, uh, puzzle systems, things like that. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you.